What up? This is Sketchy Z coming straight from SoCal with another sick, sick, sick energy drink, energy drink. review. Woo-wee! I'm feeling a little sleepy right now, as you can tell. So I need a little pick-me-up. So let's vape open this package. Oh, there it goes. Aw, oh, packing peanuts. Whack! Oh, I'm seeing cans right now. What the heck? This ain't no energy drink. Black medicine? What's this, some sort of energy drink for dads? Dads? I got two flavors here. Ice to the mocha and ice to the coffee. Well, I guess it ain't gonna kill me if I try it out, even though it ain't extreme. Extreme. Okay, okay, this mocha flavor ain't bad. It's a little bit sweet, kind of like an energy drink. Let's try out a little bit more. Hmm, this is pretty good. Huh, black medicine, you say, and a whole box of them. <laughs> Let's try one more sip. Hmm. Hey guys, it was just me, Zach, from How's That Thing all along. I'm here with a whole case full of black medicine coffee. Let's pour it in here and see how this looks. This is the iced mocha flavor. It's actually really delicious. The mocha isn't overpowering. It doesn't have that weird chemical flavor you get with a lot of iced coffees. Iced coffees! It's not overpowering, it's subtle, it's really good and really smooth. I have the mocha here. I have the iced coffee as well, which eventually I will hopefully review that one separately. But right now let's just focus on this boy because that's the one I cracked open. Or my friend, cooler version of me, cracked open. It's meant to be consumed over ice, but I just pulled the box out of the fridge and it had the cold pack still on it. So it's good to go like this. The people from Black Medicine Coffee have developed their own proprietary way of making this cold coffee. It's brewed hot and then pressed cold. I don't fully understand it, but it is delicious. The process they use gives it 50% more caffeine than standard cold brewed coffee. Which is extreme. And also makes it more flavorful. Point is, it's delicious. It's a small up and coming company. They make a good product. I have a whole case here, which I'm excited about. Their iced mocha flavor is delicious. It goes down smooth. It's not too sweet. The flavor is just subtle enough to kind of drink all day. So for flavor on the mocha, I honestly give it a five out of five. It's really delicious. Five out of five. For value, it's about three bucks per can. Back in the day, you could get a 24 ounce can of Four Loco, which has just about as much caffeine and way more alcohol as this is coming in at zero. But obviously the federal government cracked down on that. So for now, $3 for one can of coffee is on the more expensive side. It's not insane. You can find them at upscale grocery stores like Bristol Farms, but it's definitely gonna be more expensive than say, a normal energy drink, but it's probably worth it and probably better for your health, honestly. For value, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of five. It's more expensive than standard caffeinated drinks, but it's definitely cheaper than Starbucks and it's good, but three bucks a can is kind of a lot for the average caffeinated beverage. Anyway, overall, I'm really enjoying this. And I'd give it a uh, 4.5 out of 5 Game of Thrones goblets full of iced coffee. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to like, be sure to comment, and if you'd like, please go on the Patreon link and give a little bit of money to the old How's That thing. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Damn it. <coughs> 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 Whack!